Welcome to this month's County Connection. I'm Julie Suter, Public Affairs Coordinator for Summit County Government. And for our first segment, we're talking about the Summit Stage public transportation system we have in Summit County. And with me is Jim Andrew, Director of the Summit Stage. Welcome, Jim. Thank you, good to be here. All right, so we're gonna talk about some great stuff that the stage has in store this year um, for 2015. And, uh, and I'm sure most of our folks at home are familiar with the Summit Stage. They see the buses out. Many of them have obviously ridden them, um, and uh, and it really is um, fantastic to have a free transportation system. Uh, there aren't too many communities that you visit that that have that service available. And um, but why don't you take us a little bit behind the scenes and tell us uh, what goes on from the inside, uh, the insider's perspective? Okay. Well, as you, as you might imagine, operating a public transit service is a very labor-intensive and capital intensive undertaking. Um, right. It's also a very expensive service to provide. Um, we're fortunate in that we are able to provide our service free to the public mm -hmm. and the reason for that is we are supported by a three-quarter cent sales tax that the voters of Summit County um, approved on two different occasions over the last 20 years. So there's a broad public support for the stage here in Summit County. Right, as there should be, I think, um, for such a great system. So there is a lot going on this year. Um, so can you talk about some of the um, key things that, um, again, some of those behind the scenes things that are going on to keep the service uh, running smoothly? Sure, some of the new things coming up this year, we're gonna be refurbishing five of our buses. We currently have a fairly old fleet. A bus okay. will normally last for 12 years, um, and our buses aren't, um, you know, 12 years old, but we have an average age of between eight and nine years, so we have a fairly old fleet. And so uh, to address that, we're going to be refurbishing five of those buses, which means the buses will literally be taken apart and rebuilt, um, new engines, transmissions, um, wheelchair lifts, um, repainted, the interiors will be completely refurbished, so it'll be like a new bus and we'll be able to operate those buses for another five to six years. Okay. So another thing coming up um, on the horizon is we're going to be introducing some new technologies to the bus operation. I think the main one that your listeners would be interested in is it will be a mobile app so that people can find on their smartphone in real time when their bus is going to be coming. And of course with weather and construction sometimes the schedules are thrown off so that will be a really handy feature to have. Right. We're also going to be adding um, an automatic passenger counting system so that when the buses are full the dispatchers will know that immediately and be able to send a, a backup bus um, to get people that are waiting at the stop. Right. So those are just a couple things that we have coming up. Uh huh. And I think I mean that uh, app and the passenger counters and um, and that whole system is going to be a really great new amenity for riders. Um, so if you are sitting there at a stop uh, right now, if the bus does happen to be held up because of weather or some other issue, um, you may not know that. Um, you can certainly call dispatch on the phone, um, but it, it'll be a different thing to be able to actually pull out your phone and and see the bus where it is on a map relative to where you're at at the stop. Exactly. That that's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, and it'll be great for our visitors too, probably don't you think? For people um, particularly, you know, visitors who are who aren't familiar with the stage or the area, it'll really be a easy way for them to find out how to use the bus, when the bus is coming. Um, where the bus stops are, mm -hmm. um, so it'll be particularly useful for you know some of the the you know the um, local residents that have been using the service for years kind of know um, the system and when the bus is coming. But I right, think you're going to work every day or something. Exactly, like that. and if it's snowing or there's construction, they know the buses may be running ten minutes late. But for people that aren't as familiar with the area, I think that app is going to really be helpful. Excellent. We'll look forward to that. And so we're thinking maybe summer. Um, that that might be live potentially? Hope to have a contractor on board that's going to be doing all this work for us in the next uh, month or so. Um, we probably won't start the rollout until after the winter service, which would be uh, late April. So I would, would expect, you know, early May into the summer we should have most of this in place. Excellent. So uh, when that does come out, we'll definitely be doing a lot of publicity around it and letting people know how to access um, and download the app and, right. and use it. We, so. we certainly want to get the word out. Right. All right. Well, so stay tuned in a few months for that. Um, and in the meantime, uh, you just got some great news recently from CDOT, the Colorado Department of Transportation, uh, and they are awarding the summit stage um, a number of different 
grants, um, pretty high dollar amounts um, for some nice improvements to the system. We have about, there's about $3 million worth of um, projects that CDOT has recently approved that we're going to be putting in place over the next couple of years, and I'll just mention a couple of those. Um, one is that we'll be replacing two of our older buses. I'm, I mentioned that we're going to be refurbishing some buses. We'll mm -hmm. be able to replace two of the even older buses over the next year, so we got a grant to do that starting next year. Um, we received a grant to make some improvements to the Frisco Transfer Center. Um, that facility was built in the late 1990s and we frankly outgrown it. So we're going to be expanding that, separating all of the airport shuttles, the car rental, the Greyhound, and the new bus tank service that CDOT's going to be starting in the next couple of months. All those will be moved to their own area. Great. And then the stage will have its own area, so it will provide some good separation between all of those modes of service. Uh -huh. And so it will we'll, also we'll, free up some parking spaces as well. Okay, great. And so what would you say is the, kind of the situation out there now? Um, it's a little bit chaotic when all of those, when the airport shuttles are coming in, when Greyhound is there, you got the stage buses, it can get a little confusing mm -hmm. um, and you know congested as far, just as far as the vehicles coming in and out. So this will kind of spread everything out a bit and make it a little bit more organized and easier for people to kind of find their way, whether they're getting on or off one of the buses. That sounds good. And, and there has been quite a bit of activity around the transfer center um, in the past year or so. That's right. Of course, Whole Foods has opened within the last year. And I might mention that we're going to be working with the developer of that property to make sure that what we do fits in with their plans as well and complements each other. Mm -hmm. So both from kind of the aesthetic point of view as well as just traffic patterns. Right, and, and just access being able to get from one side to the other. Great. All right. Yeah. Well, so some exciting improvements there. Yeah. And so, um, let's see, what else is on that list? Well, let's see, I mentioned the improvements to the Frisco station. Um, we're we're going to be replacing two buses. Um, we received some money for some architectural and engineering work. One of them is to um, expand the existing stage bus operating facility. That facility is also just about 20 years old, and we have more buses and bigger buses, so we've pretty much outgrown it. Mm -hmm. um, and we also need some additional office space, so um, we received a grant to come up with an architectural design to expand that facility, and hopefully that will be good for the next 20 years. Okay. Um, and so that's where maintenance happens and... Maintenance operations, exactly. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. Um, the, other, the other project we received, so an engineering a grant to do some engineering work um, to um, relocate um, the uh, transfer station into the Dillon area. Right now we have the transfer facility in Silverthorne, so we're looking at a satellite um, transfer station in the Dillon area. So the engineering grant will cover some planning to do that work. Excellent. And so you mentioned, so this in total is about $3 million worth of projects, um, and CDOT is covering what percentage? 80%. 80%. So, so this is a really uh, huge benefit and uh, um, to get these funds from CDOT. And so with this, were you planning to do these projects anyway, and this will help free up funds for other functions, or how does this fit into your... These, these projects were things that we've been interested in doing and I think would eventually have gotten to, but with the CDOT assistance, it's going to allow us to do them much sooner okay. than we otherwise would have. Great. So folks should stay tuned for some, some great improvements over the next year or two um, on the Summit stage. So, um, so we talked about the new app, which is obviously uh, shortly going to become the, the best way to, to navigate the stage. But um, until that happens, how do people find out uh, how to get to where they need to go on the stage? They can uh, go to our website, which is summitstage.com, and that's always being updated. Or they can call our uh, general information number. That number is 970 -66 0999. All right, perfect. Anything else that you would like to add about what's going on this year with the stage, Jim? Oh, not not too much to add. It's it's going to be an exciting year. The next couple of years, um, I've been here a relatively short time, and I can tell you we have a great transit system here. And for those of you out there that aren't already haven't discovered Summit Stage, I would urge you to give us a chance. I think you'll you'll enjoy it and um, come back again. All right. Thanks very much, Jim, for sure. coming here and letting us know about what you have on tap this year. And stay tuned. We are going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll be talking about electronics recycling in Summit County.